Hey there everyone, welcome back to Diabetic Plays, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue with our YouTube file here. Uh, we just uh, took Isaac to Shul and unlocked the knife, so we're done with Isaac for now. Um, we've played Judas. I still don't feel like doing Azazel, so we're gonna do Eden and uh, hopefully finish the run. Right, so I could tell this is going to be a great run because we have three dollar bill, flush, and incredible damage. Right, we should one shot most enemies. I feel like this is going to be uh, not very painful at all. This is going to be kind of the best run we've ever had. Uh, the flush item that we have, the space bar item, is going to allow, allow us to uh, push the space bar and turn all the enemies into poops, which is really great. Um, I am going to go straight to my item room first, hoping to make up for this, or kind of add on to this wonderful start, really. Infamy is going to be damage reduction. It's a chance whenever we get hit to uh, give us, or to, to, to block it. Uh, behind us, in front of us, to the side of us, it doesn't really matter where it hits us, there's just a chance to block the tier whenever we dodge badly. Um, I'm a little worried about this, this run. And this is not going to soothe me, like my worries at all. Uh, Mom's eyeshadow is going to be a .16 tiers up, and a chance to charm enemies. Uh, Three dollar bills, like, really not that bad. Um, but in conjunction with our bad damage and bad tier rate, it's another story. So for this room, the three dollar bill gave us mom's contact, which is a chance to freeze enemies, like just like that. Um, Charming tears is definitely something that's pretty nice. If we can get uh, on these Larrys, so they can kind of fight each other. It helps speed up the room a little bit. And we're just gonna kind of hit away at them. There we go. See, that was so much faster. I, I'm not dodging my best, but I'm not really caring about kind of the dodges right now. Magic Mushroom is definitely going to help. It's an all sets up. What's really sad is it doesn't even look like it affected us that much, but it did. Um, it's a 0.3 damage up, 1.5 times damage multiplier. A 0.3 speed up. And a... Uh, 5.25 range up and 0.5 to your height up, and a health up and full red heart health. Yep, this is a still a scary run, but it's looking up at least. Basement 2. So with this room, we really don't want to take any red heart damage. Because if we can avoid that, that'll uh, definitely help. We'll uh, be able to get a devil deal, which hopefully we can lock in some extra damage. In this room we have the concussive shots, which is a point three damage up and concussion tears. Then we got a coin. Oh, uh, so we're we're really looking just for, kind of for a boss, really. Um, trying to stay away from enemies because we don't want to get hit, but at the same time, I mean, we're gonna have to fight him eventually. I saved the uh, the flush item for the big room because we can pretty much kill everyone in it with just this item alone, as long as it's uh, charged. So everything is dead, and now we have a lot of poops to shoot. This was definitely a really good item, or a really good item for this room. I mean, it's a solid. And uh, yeah. I'm glad that, w that what we ended up doing is uh, building up a charge for it and then coming into this room. Because this room would not have been so much fun to deal with. One by one, the poops are falling! We got so many good advantages from the poops from this room that I'm pretty happy. I'm taking red hard damage there. Um, I should have gone around and down, but I did not, so we are, we're going to have some fun. 
On the plus side, I don't really need to dodge well anymore. I mean, I can go take red heart damage, I can go to the curse room, I can do whatever I want because now I took red heart damage, which is not good. Especially when we don't really have much besides magic mushroom that we just picked up. It's a scary build. So let's go to Gershrim, because we've already taken rid of our damage. Boop, boop. Patrol bombs is not what we needed. In the item room, we have Kamikaze, which is not great. But for a half heart, I can get a bomb. So. Bombs are key! Well, I wish I would have uh, taken that pill prior to picking up the bomb so we could have a bomb still. So let's, uh, I guess our boss was right here. That would have been lovely. We wouldn't have had to go to that huge room. We would have been fine. This reminds me of a run that happened earlier today, even, where I went the entire run with base damage and still won. I hate Monster. I really don't. He's, he's a very easy boss, but that's still just kind of rude. Trying to give him the boot, and he just kind of uh, jumps in the air and says, Nan and a boo boo, you can't get me, I'm taller than you. It's kind of a rude thing for Monster to do. Please give me a double deal, please. No. I didn't deserve one. We took radar damage. But at the same time, this is going to be like another not good run because of bad damage. Um, how much money do we have in our donation machine? I want to get a soul heart because I really need a devil deal. Like that's how we're gonna win through this bad run. There's no soul hearts here, anyways, though. So never mind. We we don't need anything. We'll just continue on with our amazing build and see what we can pull together. See, what I could have done is grab Kamikaze, blown up the donation machine, trying to get enough money for a soul heart, take the soul heart, cherish it, win the run. But what ended up happening is there's just not a soul heart in there, so it's just fine. We have my reflection to this room from $3 bill, which is one of the more unfortunate ones. But we're just going to go really slow. We're going to take it easy. We're not going to stress that we uh, just missed a double deal on this one. And we're just going to focus and not get hit. That is Ginger Rock. Well, not Ginger Rock, it's Soul Heart! It's even better! We already know it exists. All we need is a bomb. Just a bomb. We're finding keys. Keys are, have not been an issue for us. And I know you can see a bomb in a minimap, that's because it's in the, in the middle of a room. I really like a bomb. We got a soul heart, a bomb, and two bombs and a key. That's really good. Because now I have two soul hearts and we should not take red heart damage. This run is starting to look up. I have uh, very uh, high hopes for this run. And that's a tinted rock. Which is another soul heart. And we get shoop to whoop here, which is not needed. Uh, shoop to whoop is going to be your damage times seven. And it's not that bad. Um, but we have the flush, which is a lot better. Uh, for huge rooms, it's definitely going to save us a lot of time, a lot of headache. Rooms where I think I'm going to get hit, I can just use it immediately. And it's overall very helpful. And we're going to slowly pop these poops.
Getting uh, some money here. Oh, well, we're at 14 cents. So if I get one more, I'm gonna go to the shop to see if we can buy like there's options or something like that. I'll hold on to the pill. I'm not gonna use it yet. That th this room is a headache. So <laughs> having them both stick their heads up, I'm glad to kill them. Uh, we can now go to the shop. By the way, we have uh, 16 coins or 15 coins required to buy a 15 coin item. So that is the boomerang. I like the boomerang. It's half off. I'll buy it. Boomerang is going to allow us to uh, do some pretty cool things, which we can kind of show off a little bit here. Uh, this uh, key is now ours. This coin, also ours. Uh, I, I tossed it the wrong way, I guess. One second. Let's try that again. There we go. That is our coin. We're at five cents now. We can also go right over here, and these bombs are also ours. So, it's a pretty cool advantage we can get with just, uh, just the boomerang. I'm gonna go ahead and use my bomb to blow up the, uh, Rocks leading to the chest. We're gonna go ahead and see what's in the chest and then fight the boss. Can't bring chest with you. I mean, the flush is still really good, which I'm still tempted to take, but I, I do like this item. It gave us a lot of cool things. You can also freeze enemies, kind of uh, like that. And we're fighting Mega Fatty! The only thing you really like to watch out for him is his fast hops like that. Yeah, the boomerang is not really helpful, I just try to make use of it. I mean, it's helpful to get like items and stuff, but it's not so helpful like freezing enemies. It's not what it's like really good for. We have a guaranteed double deal because we did not get one last floor because red heart damage matchbook is an evil up without evil kind of soul heart and three bombs. And now our run is looking up. So we get little brim when we've unlocked Krampus, which is horrible. Um, I don't think we need the guppy's head, but I'm gonna take it anyways because why not? So we're one piece of guppy. Now I could have stuck with guppy's head, which might have been a cool idea, but at the same time we have a little brim, so that's. Really all we need. We're perfectly fine for the rest of the run. I don't need anything else. Uh, Little Bump does a lot of damage. And I feel safe with the run now. I really don't need anything else in this run to win except for maybe a little bit more health. I have four bombs, so I'm going to go ahead and go and open this open chest up. We have the Fool card, which I don't need. I'll, I'll take the Fool card because we can do some stuff with it later. Uh, Peeper's Eye is going to float around and deal damage to enemies. I love the soundtrack of this game, it's excellent. Although I do really like the soundtrack of the original Isaac too. I'm kind of torn between both of them um, in terms of which one's better. Let's not get hit. Go ahead and use a bomb to open this chest up. Getting Cricket's head, which is a 0.5 damage up, 1.5 times damage multiplier. However, the damage multiplier will not work. How did I not do damage there? Damage multiplier is not going to work with in conjunction with the magic mushroom, which we already have. So it's, still, it's just going to be a 0.5 damage up, which is really nice still. I'm going to use a bomb on this tinted rock to get another to, to get more soul hearts. And we are fighting Gertie.
And there we go. We get a health up from a snack, and on to the next floor. Daps one. Trying to hit all the enemies as best I can. The Joker card is really cool because it's going to be a teleport to a devil deal, so I'll take that instead. I'm not too keen on going to the curse room because I want to see if I can possibly get a dark boy here. Uh, we did have all the no damage achievements on our old file, but when we restarted the file over, because I messed up the save file, um, we need to go get the same no damage achievements all over again, so. Sacrifices must be made. I can't go right into the curse room because I'm trying to get a no damage achievement. Two keys for that many bombs is definitely worth it considering I have 11 keys. And we got 15 minutes. I don't know if we'll be able to make the boss rush or not. The boss rush being we have to. Feed Depths 2 by 20 minutes. So we have 5 minutes left to do that to see what's in there. My Reflection I don't really want, so I'm not going to take. I could blow up the rocks there, the skulls, to hopefully get something, but I could do that. Um, I did the 3 red chests because I am one piece of guppy, so I am now hunting for the guppy again. And trying to see if I can do that. But no copy to be found. We do have a Joker card, so we do have a, another chance to go to a double deal. Um, taking no damage on this floor, or no red heart damage, we should have a pretty good chance by ourselves. Um, or by ourselves, rather. And uh, But if we don't get one, we can always use the Joker card. And in here we have another soul heart, and I'm going to donate some to the machine. One sixteen is pretty good. This is a two of diamonds. Well then! You know, but sometimes you should probably just pick up cards, see what they are prior to leaving the room and donating, because that could have been a tiny bit more money. Also, it's kind of weird to see this. This looks like Proptosis, but it doesn't look like we got a damage increase from it. It's kind of interesting with that uh, item. Whenever it does it with $3 bill. And I keep thinking I'm running into Peter's eye, and I'm just kind of worried, but we're, we're fine. Uh, we got hit, so now it does not matter how many times we get hit. In fact, I just don't care. It just... It kind of sucks, because we were so close. Not really. We had a whole floor left. But now I could go to the curse room, I could go to lots of places. Masculine Infamy is doing work. And that is a knife. And another piece of guppy. So. Um. I'm not going to walk all the way back to the curse room. It's pretty far away. We'll just ac accept our fate that that was probably guppy and continue. Um, I could always save a Joker card for Womb 2. And that way we could fight uh, Shoal on getting there. If the devil, devil deal does not open up on Moon 2. That way we can get closer and closer to uh, unlocking the negative. Should be excellent. Onwards we go though, and uh, not that much really happening. Um, we've already taken red heart damage, so I will go into this curse room. Not red heart damage, but damage in general. I kind of moved that the wrong way, that's my fault, but we're fine. I blow up skulls to get uh, stuff. Another Joker card. Well, I, can, I can just use this one then. 
Uh, flight's pretty cool, but this is a one damage up, which I'm going to take instead. And this run went from being pretty not that great to pretty great in general. I mean, I'm glad we went in and locked the knife. That would have, uh, it's really good. If we had not gotten and used Isaac last uh, run to unlock the knife, we would not have the knife right now. And what was a pretty bad run, I mean, we did have a little brim, so it was that, but this run's so much better now. And I'm a huge fan of the knife, so. That is another key, which we really don't need. Well, Brim is making up for our lack of range with a knife. Because whenever I can't reach something, I can just use a little Brim to get a full kind of Brim across the screen. A Mom's Quinpress. We've unlocked Mom's Contacts. 2020 does nothing with a knife. Little Chubb is mediocre. Midas Hatch isn't that great. Pisces, which I believe that is, is also just 0.16 tiers up, which is minor. Um, so I'm going to say no on the bus rush for now. And in the future, if we come to a run where that is beneficial, that has some damage, I'll be feel like I'll do that. But and for shitty items, I'm not going to not gonna tolerate it. It's not going to spend time for shitty items. That is a sun card, which is really cool for mapping. I'm going to go and joke right here. Okay, well, this is Krampus. Had a Krampus has appeared in the basement. Of course, we got coal here, which does absolutely nothing with a knife, but picking it up will turn our knife that black color, which is also always worth it. Unless you're in a speed run, in which case it is definitely not worth your time. Uh, we must have homing for this room, because you can see our knife home in on the enemies. I do like mapping items. I think they're they're pretty great. And now we wait. This is a very not hard room, but you have to be very patient. I'm glad that we went through it, because uh, it was definitely worth our time. I led right to the boss. Okay, so I'm going to say our boss is not to the right, not to the left, but is instead down. That is the direction I'm choosing. I'm sticking with it. It's going to be right. Uh, what's funny is the mimics do not see your knife as a tear, so they will actually not fire at you when you have it. Which is really helpful, because they will actually fire at you even when you uh, aren't even holding down the fire button, unless you're holding a knife. It's, always, it's kind of interesting. I think they were programmed not that well. Slowly making our way to where the, I think the boss is, although we could be totally off. Well, you're fast. Going down to where the boss is right here. Oh, come on. There we go. Skolex is a lot of fun. That's not true. Uh, especially in this game, he's kind of truly. Uh, so we did get up, end up getting the Devil Deal here, which is hopefully all right. Um, pl still planning to go to Shoal if we get a Devil Deal on Room Two, but we'll see what happens here. Come on, little Brim, you got to do something sometimes.
This room is pretty great. I'm sure it's the way to our boss room because why else would I go into a huge room like that? It'd be a waste of time otherwise. I mean, it's not really a waste of time. We could have gained an advantage through like a tinted rock or um, a dice room, which by the way, I totally ignored that six dice room. It's pretty much solely because it is a uh, full reroll re of your build, which although I uh, could do, at the same time, this is a streak, and I feel pretty confident with the knife that we can, we can win it. Uh, so there's no reason to, uh, to do that. And this is one of those rooms where Lil Brim comes into kind of a lot of help, I and mean, it really cuts down the amount of work I have to do with just a knife. And we found Liberty Cap, which is going to uh, basically can show or give you a uh, what effect? Mushroom effect, or give you the compass effect, which is pretty helpful in terms of like speed running, knowing where you're going in general. But it's in the middle of an island, which I cannot get to. Uh, we did not get entrance to Stroll. I was kind of relying on that. I kind of used the Jerry card last floor. Thinking we could probably get one anyways, and then sun card it and tra la 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 la, but that uh, did not go right. All right, the wire code hanger has appeared in the basement. And that is it for uh, today's episode. We are now on streak number four. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. I know I did. It was kind of a, a breeze, really. There wasn't much going on. It started kind of bad, but then it kind of quickly got better. Um, so yeah, that is this episode. If you want to catch me, any of my live streams, you can find me at www.twitch.tv forward slash diabetic. I stream every single day live there and um you can find me there uh you can also find my twitter down below along with that link in the description um but i will see you guys later hopefully you have a wonderful rest of your day and see you next time goodbye